The sky is not the limit, because we about to change that. Hey, Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, we're going to do the sky replacement tutorial using Power Director 17. If this is the first time you ever heard of this effect, I want you to put hashtag I know no sky in the comment section below. All right, Power Director peeps, I kept you waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. Let's kiss the sky goodbye. Removing the sky is an awesome way to make it seem that multiple elements of a scene are in a different location without using a green screen or masking. This is a simple trick that will add some especia caliente to your projects. So let me show you just how to make this effect using PowerDirector. First thing you need to do is shoot your footage. You need to shoot the environment at an angle that includes the sky, just like the footage that you see in the preview window. You want to make sure that there are no clouds in the shot and the sky is completely blue. You should also make sure that nothing else in your shot is blue, like your talent's clothing, signs, a car, whatever. Once that's done, you're ready to start editing. So you want to place your footage that will serve as the new sky in track one. And you want to place your footage with the sky that you'll be removing in track two. So you want to go to the footage on track two and you want to give that a left mouse click. Then you want to go up to designer. And then you want to go to PIP designer. Once that opens up, you want to make sure that you're on the properties tab. Once you're on the properties tab, you want to go to chroma key. And then you want to check the chroma key box to enable it. Next, you should click on the eyedropper tool. So this will let you select the color that you want to remove. Usually, you use this with a green screen or a blue screen, and it makes the green screen disappear and you replace the background. Because our sky is totally blue, we're going to use this to remove the sky. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper. And I'm going to go on the darkest shade of blue that I can get on here, which is probably up around here somewhere. I'm going to left click that. And then I'm going to move the color range so that I get more of the blue range. There's still some lighter blue down here that it didn't remove. So if I expand the color range, it will remove more blues. So I'm going to move that all the way over to the right. And then there's some noise that I can see in the image down here near the bottom. So I'm going to move the denoise up until I don't see that noise over the sky anymore. And that's pretty good right there. And I like how this looks, so I'm going to play it back to get a quick preview. It looks really good. I'm going to click on stop. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now the blue sky is replaced with the starry, starry night. And there you have it. How to replace the sky in a few easy steps in PowerDirector 17. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use PowerDirector. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. Those are affiliate links. So if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own. So if you want to help me help you use the affiliate link. 
All right, Power with Director Peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. Truly means the world to me. If you have any tutorial requests that you'd like me to make, please head over to the video description and complete my tutorial request form. If you got any questions, comments, you just want to talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, if you want more training, tips, tricks, and education on how to use Power Director, then you got to watch more of my content and you got to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.